Pam Brown says, My man used to text me back always. Now that we've agreed to move in together, he never texts. Maybe he's just as busy as I am. He will call every two or three days. Yeah, so Pam, I'm not sure what your situation is, but one of the things that I want to kind of make clear about moving in with a guy is that, you know, you need to make sure that before you end up moving in with a guy that you are getting all of your needs met. And another thing that I wanna be, okay, let me finish that kind of thought real quick. You know, the reason that you wanna do that is because once you start moving in with a guy, basically you're going to be giving him all of the emotional needs that he has. Uh, fulfilled, right? So you're giving him everything. And if you're, if you're like, Hey, I want marriage or something like that. And you're not getting marriage and you're moving in with him or, you know, sometimes women are in kind of like friend with benefits situations and they move in with guys, which is crazy. And they think that it's progressing, but it's not really progressing when you move in with a guy that doesn't mean that it's progressing for him. That means that it's progressing for you and your feelings of what's going on with him and you're getting deeper and sometimes he's not getting deeper because of that and so you need to make sure that you're protecting yourself and getting your needs met the second thing i wanted to talk about in terms of that is men are very goal oriented right the masculine is very goal oriented and so if his goal is like hey i want to lock down this girl right like i want to get her and i want her in my place and you know once i have that it's all done that's his goal and all of a sudden you say hey this is what i want and that was his goal and that so now he doesn't have any goals left all of a sudden it becomes like this thing where he's like okay well i've gotten my goal right and so men tend to be not as good at keeping relationships going as women are and so he hits his goal and he's done and you're like hey what just happened right but he's no longer like hey i've got this goal and i need to do these things in order to get to my goal and so that can happen a lot of times with men and it feels really bad to you because it feels like, oh, all of a sudden he doesn't care anymore. But really all that's happened is that he doesn't feel like he needs to do the things that he needs to do in order to get his goal.